Tiums. This is Aaron. We are going to tell you all about tsunamis. Hey Aaron, I've just been reading about tsunamis. They're so frightening. Did you know there was a tsunami in Thailand? It happened on Boxing Day 2004. Yes, it was a really bad one. But what actually is a tsunami? Is it just a big tidal wave? Tsunami is a large ocean wave usually caused by an underwater earthquake or a volcanic explosion. Tsunamis are not tidal waves. Tidal waves are caused by the forces of the moon, sun and planets upon the tides, as well as the wind as it moves over the water. With typical waves, water flows in circles, but with a tsunami, water flows straight. This is why they cause so much damage. So if it flows straight, does that mean it floods straight onto the land? Yes, exactly. Do you know how tsunamis form? Yes, actually I do. Giant slabs of the Earth's crust called tectonic plates grind together. Sometimes though the, the plates get stuck. The pressure builds up and suddenly they slam into a new position. This causes an earthquake. If the earthquake lifts or drops part of the ocean floor, the water above rises and starts spreading across the ocean, causing a tsunami. Underwater landslides or volcanic eruptions can also lead to a tsunami. Wow, you really have been reading about tsunamis. I wonder what the word tsunami means. It's a funny word. I know that too. It means Great Harbor Wave in Japanese. Also, did you know that about four out of five tsunamis happened within the Ring of Fire, the zone in the Pacific Ocean where earthquakes and volcanic eruptions take place. I know what tsunamis are and now I know how they are caused but how big can they get? Out in the open ocean, tsunami waves are about one meter high because the water is deep. But as the water becomes shallow, the waves sh slow down and begin to grow. Bigger and bigger and bigger. They can rise to 35 meters or higher. That's the same of a 10 floored block of flats. The scariest thing about tsunamis is their wavelength. This determines how far in land it can travel. A large wave caused by a storm might have a wavelength about up to 150 meters. But a tsunami can reach up to a mighty 1,000 kilometers. That really is scary. I didn't realize that they could be so high and so wide. So does that mean that they are fast as well? Yes, you never believe how fast. I read in National Geographic that a tsunami can race across the ocean at the incredible 970 kilometers per hour. That's as fast as a jet plane. Sometimes before tsunami hit, there was a huge fat noom effect, sucking water from the harbors and beaches. People can see the ocean floor littered with flopping fish and other sea animals. Poor little creatures, then a wave blasts onto the shore a minute later. 
Then another and another for two hours or more. They may also be up to one hour between the waves. Whoa, that's fast! No wonder so many people are killed and injured. Did you know that tsunamis cannot even be predicted? If a large earthquake does occur, PDWC can only forecast the tsunami behaviour. So even if there is a warning, not very much time at all to get to safety. Aaron, did you know when the deadliest tsunami was? I'm not sure. There have been a few over the past few years in Japan and Thailand. Well, lucky for you, I do actually know. The earthquake that started the Great Indian Ocean Tsunami of 2004. It happened in 2004 on the 26th of December. By the end of the day, more than 150,000 people were dead or missing. A million more were homeless in 11 countries, making it perhaps the most destructive tsunami in history. Can you believe that? It must have been so scary. All those poor people! So there are no signs for tsunamis. Well, actually, there are a few signs, but they happen right before the tsunami strikes. Like hard ground shaking for 20 seconds or more near the coast, or sometimes the ocean seems to move backwards. Loud booming noises may also be heard when the tsunami strikes. So if a tsunami strikes, you need to get to higher ground. If you can, is that right? Yes, but only if it's here. Remember tsunamis can sweep boats from the sea onto the land, demolish buildings, drag cars for miles, derail trains and rip up roads. Wow, James, do you really do know a lot about tsunamis? All that information has swept over me like a giant wave, get it? You and your jokes, Aaron. Natural disasters really are amazing. I hope you enjoyed learning all about tsunamis. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe. Please visit us at www.learningmo.com.